Okay, assalamualaikum and hi guys. So today I'm going to share with you on photo optimization. How I optimize my photo in Shopee. Okay, so before I proceed, right, uh, I'm going to upload this video later on in my uh, YouTube channel. So this will be my first ever YouTube video. So if you want to support me, please uh, scan this QR code and click subscribe. Okay, all right. Okay, I will share with you five, five tips when doing your cover image, okay? The first tip is white background, okay? When you do cover image, right, you need white background. So how I do this, right? So this is an example of uh, hand sock photos, okay? So let's say this is the photo that you shoot yourself, okay? You take yourself or this is a photo from your supplier. What you need to do is you double click, you double click it, okay? You uh, click save image or you copy image, okay? Take example, you click copy image, okay? Then you go to this remove.bg. You just go to Google and then type remove.bg. You can upload your image here or you can just paste it over here, okay? So this was the original image, okay, with the gray background and so on, all right. This will be the image after the background has been removed, okay. It will be a plain white background, okay. So what you need to do next is you click download HD, okay. Remember to always click download HD. So the quality of the image is higher, okay. You don't need to log into this remove.bg. You don't need to sign up. Okay, you can just simply type remove.bg and then uh, upload the photo over here. Okay, and you are done. Okay, so this will be your photo. Okay, the second method I want to show you is using Canva. Okay, so using Canva is my favorite uh, way to do all my cover photo. So what you need to do is first you go to canva.com. Okay, you need to subscribe, you need to register first for Canva Basic 83. Okay, so click create a design. Okay, and then there is a lot of template. Click Instagram post. Okay, why Instagram post is because we want a square image. Okay, uh, all Shopee image are in square shape. Okay, and Shopee recommended size is 1024 times 1024. So this is the closest one. Or you can also custom size and key in 1024. Okay. So we, we try with Instagram post. Okay. So this is square. Okay. Like so. You just paste the photo just now. Right. Then you resize it. Okay. So first step, you go to effect. Okay. And then click background remover. Okay. So the, uh, the catch here is background remover is only for Canva Pro and above, okay? And Canva Pro and above, you need to pay for it. You need to subscribe and it is quite expensive. So to start with, just use remove.bg, okay? You, 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 re, you use remove.bg is already uh, okay, okay? But Canva will give you a higher quality photo, okay? And the best thing about background remover in Canva, right? You can touch up, okay? For example, you want to erase this eye, okay? Or this nose, okay? You can just erase it using the brush, okay? Or if there is some distortion when uh, removing the background, you can restore back the image as per you like. Or example, there is a logo here, right? You can restore back the logo over here. Or you want to remove it back, you can just erase it using the brush, okay? And then you click done, and you are done, okay? So it is simple and very easy, okay? So that's tips number one, okay? White background. So moving on, tips number two, okay? Different cover image, okay? So let's look at the example again, okay? Let's go to Shopee, okay? So I have done the search on Disney baby Mickey hooded blanket. So when I search for these keywords, right, these are the results. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, from here you can see all same images. Okay, all same images. Okay, except for this one and maybe this one is slightly different. Okay, so why do we want to be different? Because if we are all the same, right? How can the buyer make a decision uh, whether to buy from us or from other people? Maybe if they see the preferred, okay? Or maybe they see the free shipping, 15 ringgit or 10% cashback, okay? But at the first glance, they will see the different photo here, okay? So the chances of you guys being click is like highly unlikely, okay? So we want to be different. So how do we want to be different, okay? So let's say this is your supplier website, okay? So this is the cover photo that the supplier gave to you. It is the same like the cover photo being used by all other sellers, right? Okay, so what we want to do is go to the next photo, okay? Example, this one. So use this as your cover photo or this one. Use this as your cover photo, okay? If there is 10 images, you choose whichever that you think can be different from other people, okay? Let's take this as an example, all right? And then you go back to Canva, okay? We create a new page and then you paste it over here. There is no need to remove background because it is already clean white background, okay? So it is done, okay? So your photo is different from other sellers, okay? Next, tip number three, be outstanding, okay? So how to be outstanding? We go back to the to Shopee page just now. Okay, how to be outstanding? You try to close your eyes now and then you open back. Which this thing catch your attention? Okay, it's this one, right? Because there is a frame and the frame is quite in a bold color frame. Okay, it's a blue and red. So the eye catch this frame first, okay? So we want to do like this, okay? We want to be the first that the eyes land on, okay? So how to do this is, the simplest way to do a frame is a square frame, okay? You go to element and then you type square, okay? So from here, you can choose whether to use this, this, this one, or this one, or this one, this one, up to you, okay? Take, for example, we take this one, okay? So we resize it. So there you go. This will be your frame, okay? And remember, it needs to be outstanding. So you can choose black color, red color, uh, this blue, okay? Or this green, okay? Don't choose a soft color. Don't choose baby blue, baby pink lilac, soft gray, okay, and so on, okay? So choose a bold color, okay? And if you have a strong UF, USP or if you have, say, uh, a strong, maybe tagline, a catchy tagline, okay? So you can put it here as well, okay? Example of catchy tagline is um, fast shipping or ready stock in Malaysia, okay? We put fast shipping, okay? Or ship today, all right? So things that Malaysian like, okay? Fast shipping or free shipping, okay? Or you can put uh, sold more than 1,000 pieces, okay? But make sure uh, you don't overclaim, okay? Just put whatever that is, be honest lah, okay? Basically be honest, all right? Okay, so something catchy will help you to boost the sale as well. Okay, so there you go. So your listing is more outstanding than other people. Okay, okay. Tips number four. Okay, watermark. Watermark is watermark is important because after you have done all your hard works, right? You want to protect that image. Okay, so we want to put our watermark in. So how do we put our watermark in? Okay, we go to tags. We add a heading back. Example, our store is Kedai Miki. Yeah, Kedai Miki. Okay. So the thing about why our watermark, right? Don't make it too big or don't make it too small. Okay, make it just nice. 
and then always make it uh, transparent maybe 20 to 30 40 percent okay so you adjust accordingly all right and then you can change the font as well okay example you want to use calligraphy okay uh, like that okay calamity or like so okay and you are done okay and another thing about um this uh frame right it is also like your branding okay so you can put your store name on the frame itself okay so people will not steal your uh, frame as well okay Ta -da. so this is done all right okay let's move on to the final tips okay final tips is tips number five embed seo keywords in your image okay this is the most important tips okay and how to do this right okay example we are selling this uh, essential oil okay this essential oil so this is your image file so what you want to do okay let me have a cursor first okay what you want to do is you right click to this image and then you go to properties okay so when you go to properties, you will see the file name. Okay, so this is uh, original.jpg. Okay, so you go to details. Okay, and by default, everything is blank. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to key in all the attributes here. Okay, how to do this is very simple. Title, you just copy your title in Shopee exactly the same. Just copy and paste it here. Okay, on the title and also copy and paste the same thing and paste it on the subject. So it's aromatherapy, essential oil, maybe uh, 10 mils, okay, and so on. Okay, and the brand name as well, okay. Next, rating, you self-rate the image to five star, okay. So don't pull your, don't bring your image down, okay. Uh, make it five star. And the text and comment. Okay, this is the most important part. Okay, so you need to put in your SEO keywords inside and your hashtag inside. So how you do this, right? So before you even do all the editing, you need to do your background homework first. Okay, you need to know what is the keyword for this product. Okay, example is all this stuff. All right, so aromatherapy oil, aromatherapy essential oil, and so on. Okay, so you copy all these. These are all your keywords. Okay, you put a hashtag and then you delete all the space. It becomes your hashtag. Okay, the same keyword can be used as your SEO keyword and your hashtag. So you just copy everything and you paste it on the text and you paste it on the comment. Okay, how many keywords you need? At least five okay at least five then you are good to go uh, but normally i do 20 to 30 keywords inside the uh, image property okay and then you click apply first then okay if you don't click apply first right it will not save all your work just now okay and then you click okay it is already safe okay so that is my five tips on how i do my photo optimization for shopee okay so uh, this is summary, tip number one, white background. Okay, it needs to be white first, okay? Uh, next, tip number two, different cover image. So you do the research on all your other competitor. You see which cover image they use. You avoid that, okay? Choose a different cover image instead, okay? Tip number three, be outstanding. So you do the frame, you do uh, the catchy phrase, the USP and so on, okay? Tip number four, Watermark, okay. Watermark, make sure it is transparent, and then you can put your uh, store name or logo on the frame itself as well. And finally, and most importantly, is tips number five: embed SEO keywords in your image. Okay. So when people Google your image, when people Google your product, example, they Google the keywords essential oil your image will appear first okay and your image will bring the customer to your shopee store okay so that's it for today uh thank you for your time 
So again, if you want to support me, so hopefully I will do more video in future, please subscribe to my channel here. Okay, you just scan the QR code and click subscribe. And I will also do uh, the same video, but in uh, the M version afterwards. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your time.